only got one life Stay We die and we on another level To the rest we goodbye Put baguettes in the pencil Got a piece of the pie Told you once, told you twice That we only got one life Stay up Diamonds shine, best at night You wear yours, I'll wear mine Go dumb Tonight, tonight Uh-oh Dipping low with my girls tonight Got my ice in the clouds Uh-oh Kelly Drove got me feeling right With my ice in the clouds Uh-oh Dipping low with my girls tonight Got my ice in the clouds Uh-oh Kelly Drove got me feeling right Wanna see you put your hands up Hands up Pointing straight to the sun Everybody lift your bands up Celebrate cause we want, we stay on another level. Another level. Yeah, the team stay fly, where the Bruno get your rings up. Cause the limit is the sky. Yeah. Told you once, told you twice, that we only got one life. Stay up. Stay yes. uh, Time and shine, best at night. You wait yours, I'll wear mine. Go Dumb. Tonight, tonight, tonight. Uh-oh. Dipping low with my girls tonight. Got my ice in the clouds. Uh-oh. 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 Kelly yeah, Drove got me feeling right. Got my ice in the clouds. Dipping low with my girls tonight. Got my ice in the clouds. Uh-oh. Kelly Drove got me feeling right. Got my ice in the clouds. Low with my girls tonight, got my ice in the clouds. Oh, oh, oh. Kelly Drove got me feeling right with my ice in the clouds. Oh, oh. Dipping low with my girls tonight, got my ice in the clouds. Oh, oh. Kelly Drove got me feeling right. Welcome to the Campfire Daily YouTube channel, guys. Hit that like button if you haven't liked the video already. We have some Royal Housewives of Atlanta news to get into. Hey. Welcome back, guys. I'm your boy, The Kempire, and you are watching The Kempire Daily YouTube channel. I was literally trying to fix some things. You know, if you leave your studio for a minute and you, you take wires out, you try to put them back together, my cam is not necessarily connected to what I needed to be connected to. It's okay, though. We're going to make do because, as you know, we could do the show without all of the, the the hoops and whistles and things like that. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel where you get daily and consistent hot topics in music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video if you haven't liked it already. Subscribe to the channel because you're getting content, content, content. First of all, let me, again... Adjusting to <laughs> being back in the studio. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you all saying welcome back, welcome home. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. We have some Real Housewives of Atlanta news. As you know, yesterday, as I was traveling, news broke that the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 14 cast has been officially announced. And because my other thing is not working right now, I'm going to have to do this live and upload the photo that I wanted to share with you guys. But I will get these things underway. I literally was going to go live last night, but I said, oh, that's not going to work. That's, <laughs> look, that's not going to work. And now this doesn't want to work. Hold on, y'all. I think maybe I have way too many things in here. Is that what it is? I don't know. StreamYard's acting funny. Y'all already know. We've, we've talked about the ladies. Uh, Bravo confirmed and Variety had the exclusives confirming that Candy will be returning. Kenya will be returning. Shout out to Kenya. Kenya time on Dancing with the Stars ended last night after, I think, what, a six-week run 
of being on there doing very well, but she did not make it just in time though, just in time because now they're fully underway filming the new season. And this is one of the rare times that Bravo has announced their cast so early, even before we even got anything. But you know, we've been talking about the Real Housewives of Atlanta cast for a while, and we were talking about how it was in shambles, and that's why we have the cast that we have today. Who's lying? So they've confirmed the cast. The cast is going to include Candy, Kenya, Marlo Hampton for the very first time for being an infamous, yes, infamous friend of, of, the, of the franchise and of the show specifically, will get her peach this season. Also, we will be getting Sheree Whitfield coming back. Sheree is coming back, you know, in the book, uh, Not All Diamonds and Rosé. She revealed that she was offered a friend of contract to return, but she was like, why do I got to keep proving myself? Well, now she's back, and the rumor on the street was that Sheree said, if I'm going to come back, I have to come back as a full-time housewife. And I know a lot of you are saying, who is she? Well, based on what we were hearing, you know we've been following the casting news for the Real Housewives of Atlanta for a while. They've been having trouble finding a solid cast. That, again, is part of the reason, according to Love B. Scott, when we, we dropped that exclusive, that they were forced to bring Drew Sedora back. I'm open to Drew. Drew only had one season. You know, we try to give everyone a chance. I'm open to Drew, even though Delilah's spirit, Prophet, and she really went out with a bang, though, at the end of that season. I was like, if there was any hope for my Taurus sister, she's a Taurus. I can't. I can't. It's all right. Hold on, y'all. Let me see what you guys are saying in the chat. <laughs> Stop. Uh-uh. Y'all know what I... Hold on. Hold on. I did. I know I filled this water bottle up and I did not put it here. Hold on, y'all. Oh, and I'm back. <laughs> your coldest water bottle. Get your coldest water bottle today. 10% off when you use the discount code KEMP10. You know I missed my coldest water bottle. There it goes. Love my coldest water bottle. I just want to say something, though. The coldest water bottle has been here in the office by itself in, you know, untouched. That water was still cold. I didn't drink it, though. I didn't drink it, y'all. I tested it. I was like, oh, it's still cold. Three weeks later. Three weeks later, the, the, the water was still cold. So more information on how you can get your own coldest water bottle, variety of colors, variety of sizes. Use the discount code KEMP10 for 10% off. Shout out to everyone that's been tagging me and, and texting me your coldest water bottle. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as how, how much I miss my coldest water bottle. <sighs> Look. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you just joined us, we're talking about the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 14 cast has been revealed by Bravo. And as I said to you before, it we already kind of knew there were no surprises in this cast list. No surprises at all, including our Jamaican sister, Sonia Richards Ross. You know her from Wheat TV, her reality show there. She is going to be joining the cast as a full time housewife. As I said to you before, according to reports, Bravo was forced to bring Drew Sedora back. I also think they were forced to kind of give Marlo a peach. She's a part of the franchise. They, everyone knows her. Everyone loves her. But I wonder what Marlo's storyline will be this season. What will her storyline be? Because I know a lot of us feel we know everything about Marlo. But in the book, not all Diamonds and Ro Ro Rosé, they reveal that she was testing to be a full-time housewife earlier in, in, in the seasons of the show. And she was just so embarrassed by her mom's behavior. Marlo, I hope we get your mom this season. That's the reality. We want to see real stuff. We don't want to see the glitz and glamour only. We want to see both. I want to see your mom. I want to see your mom. <laughs> Guys, if you're just joining us, of course, we are talking about the Royal Housewives of Atlanta. Shout out to my Team Kempire Royal Court members. If you'd like to become a member of the channel, head on over to teamkempire.com and be sure to um... oh, join our texting community. See, look, I got to get back and swing things. Mind you, I've only had really one 
technically one day off. But if you guys follow the channel and you watch my YouTube shorts and you know, you even got content yesterday. You even got content yesterday. You didn't get any lives yesterday, even though I almost went live. But I said, Kempire, you need to take a break. You just got off of an eight hour flight. <laughs> and I was trying to organize and clean and unpack and do all that other kind of stuff. So based on what we're hearing, you know, we also reported that Nini might make an appearance on the new season. Well, according to Variety's exclusive, they're saying that Nini will not be on the show. I'm thinking Nini was like, no, I'm not going to be on it. I do think that Truly Original probably put it out there allegedly to test the waters with Nini. They would love for Nini to come back. They are desperate to get these ratings up for next season. Andy Cohen is desperate to save his franchise. That's why he put out this book under his publishing company and trying to spark all kinds of, oh, let's talk about it. Let's talk about, that's part of the reason I was like, ah, I don't know if I want to do another live talking about the little details that are coming out of this book, the cold tea that he's trying to serve us. But they're desperate. They want to revamp the franchise. The only thing that's saving the franchise right now is Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And we already know that's not going to last once Erica Girardi's drama is over. Sidebar. We will be going live. Today's one. No, today's not Wednesday. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Tomorrow night. <laughs> bear with me, people. Bear with me. Tomorrow night, 10 p.m. Eastern, on my TikTok, we will watch part three of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills reunion together. I know it's been a few weeks, but we will ride out the last two episodes of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills together. Live commentary from me on my TikTok exclusively, nowhere else. Follow me, The Kempire. Okay. I know a lot of you've been hitting me, hitting me up. Are we going to do that? I just could not do it in the Netherlands. The internet in Europe is not great. No shade to my European, you know, subscribers. But I pay a lot of money for good internet here. <laughs> and as soon as I got off the plane, I was like, oh, 5G is. Anyways. It's the little things. It's those little things, especially when you when you have a business. As you know, this is my first full, well, technically, my first full week in this studio as a full-time The Kempire LLC employee. <laughs> so this cast, I've posted a link, well, a poll in the description talking about Porsche's spinoff. We're going to talk about that in a second. But in the chat, in the live chat, and if you're watching the replay of this, I want to know your thoughts on this cast. Are you inspired by this cast? Will you be watching season 14 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta? I will be watching because I want to give them, give them a chance. You know, I, I'm not I'm not a fair weather friend. I want to give them a chance and see what they're going to bring. And we're going to cover it because they are a very important part of The Real Housewives franchise. But this cast, I'm not that inspired by. But you never know. We got we got our producer Kenya back, so that should be interesting. We're going to we're going to continue to follow this. As I said to you before, some of the exclusives, um, according to Variety, is that Nini will not be making an appearance this season on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. I think that's Nini's choice, not really their choice. Um, Sonia Richards Ross, as you know, the the four time gold medalist Jamaican. I, first of all. I was watching clips of Sonia's WeTV reality show. We need to get her mom. We need to get her family on the show. I hope we do get a lot of the, a lot of those elements on the show. And you remember there was a rumor on the street, I think last week, that Latoya Forever was coming back as a friend of. Nope. Nope. Akon's wife, they did not talk about uh, or confirm whether or not she'll be making an appearance. I think she will. Akon's wife, I put in quotes. I think she will make an appearance because she is genuinely friends with Sheree. Sheree is still with Prison Bay. So we will see that relationship unfold on the show. I'm not sure if he will be in the state of Georgia when that relationship unfolds or if he'll be in her phone. But Sheree, we got joggers. I think. Anyone get the joggers yet? Guys, don't forget, I changed the time of our Real Housewives of Potomac recap. It's going to be at 1230 p.m. today as opposed to one because I'm I'm taking care of a lot of stuff y'all it's, it's a busy busy day and a busy week so we will be going live a little bit earlier than expected for 12 
12 30 p.m for our real housewives of potomac subscribers only live chat recap so be there or be square so let's talk about portia williams and her spinoff so her spinoff i'll just say this her spinoff the trailer i'm gonna say before I, I i state my opinion this is what we see in the trailer of course we see simon gobadia dennis you know, her ex-fiance, the father of her, of, of PJ, is in it. We see Dennis's mom is in it. We see some cast of characters that we never met before. That's in Portia's life. Of course, Portia's mom and sister are in it. Um, we get to see them question her relationship with Simon Gobadia. And, you know, like, how did this happen? There seems to be, like, there's going to be a lot of drama with this one particular woman that's in there. I don't know her role. I don't know, you know, if she's friends, family, or whatever it may be. But we also see Portia get into another physical altercation. Andy, I thought you said um, this is not Love and Hip Hop or the Bad Girls Club. I'll wait. It's the hypocrisy for me. And this is not the first time that we've seen Portia get into a physical altercation. They talk about that in the book as well. They relive that moment when she is, she uh, attacked Kenya. We also remember her attacking her friend, also now Candy's editor, in the alleyway. And then the, there was that infamous fight between her and Cynthia on the boat. Now, how many years later when we say Portia's, you know, has evolved so much, we go back to the old Portia? Where Simon's holding her down. I had oh, I had such great pictures, and I cannot even show you guys these pictures that I had because this damn thing is not working the way I need it to work. There was, there was so many updates to my computer while, while I was away, and I came back and I updated, and then I think it made it made some shifts. Made some shifts. Let me see you, see what you guys are saying. I am going to post the call in link. We have almost 500 people watching. Let's get to 200 likes and I'll drop the call in link for you guys to call in and share your thoughts on Porsche's trailer, Porsche's Family Matters. I actually prefer the pursuit of Porsche better than Porsche's Family Matters. You also may notice with the promo for it, they're, they're using the Real Housewives of Atlanta and then Porsche Families Matters. So they're going to more than likely, don't be surprised, even if you didn't record it or put it in your DVR, it's going to show up because you watched the Real Housewives of Atlanta. They did that before for her, her little spinoff for her pregnancy and things like that. I remember the pregnancy episodes and I wasn't interested. This trailer, yes, there's a lot of drama. But even with all that drama, I wasn't entertained. I wasn't laughing. I was just kind of like, okay, all right. This is clearly going to be Portia's way of spinning the narrative that we have been following since May about her relationship with Simon Gobadia. Fallon Gobadia is um, now Fallon Pina and Jalen Pina. No, that's not his last name. are they they're engaged right all right <laughs> twan to die thank you so much for super chat twan says nah the name fits kemp <laughs> damn um uh Bo beaumont welcome back to the to the membership appreciate you Guys, and if you would like to come member as well, head on over to teamkempire.com. Shout out to my moderators that are in the chat that keeps this a safe and open space for conversation. Don't forget, we will be recapping The Real Housewives of Potomac at 12.30 p.m. today for a subscribers only live chat. You know, we do that every single week as our after show. We will get back to doing an after show. We'll just have to figure out the right time. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll get we'll get into that. Um, uh. Vanessa says, Andy Cohen is messy and so full of it. Yep. <laughs> Amanada says, VH1 meets Zeus Network. <laughs> the Zeus Network is doing well. Congrats to them. Look, it's a Black-owned business. Congrats to them. It's not my cup of tea of TV programming. I've seen the clips and stuff. It's not my cup of tea. But you never know. There might be one day where they do have something. Don't call me about my own show, though. I'm not. <laughs> like, it, just doesn't, it just doesn't match up. It just doesn't match up. Let me take a sip. Oh, damn. Damn. Make it make sense. What's going on, bro? <laughs> Fallon's channel or watch paint dry. I'm going to go ahead and watch the paint. Fallon. 
And that's the thing. We all remember when we all were like, go Fallon, go Fallon. It's your birthday. Uh-huh. And then it changed really quickly. I wonder how she's going to feel, though, with this show playing out. Um, Portia's family matters. According to Swan, the name fits. I guess. I mean, we won't really know until we watch the show. It, based on what we saw in this trailer, it's going to really heavily be about her family. Not really about her. and um, I guess about her, but really about the family's reaction to her, her life. I mean, I'm open to it. Because we all were saying that Portia herself couldn't carry her own show. And I've said this before on my TikTok. If they gave Kim Zolciak her own show, why not Portia? Why not Portia? I'm going to watch it. I'm going to give it a chance. But I'm not sure based on that trailer. And again, if this is not the Bad Girls Club or Love and Hip Hop, why is that in the trailer? Bravo. Andy Cohen. Truly original. Y'all really like to try to act like y'all highbrow. Even Fallon said, you know, when she ran for the, the golf club, they said that was the nail in the coffin for her, that she was not going to be on the show. This this is not that type of show. But you got Portia literally take, I don't know what she had in her hand, but it looked like a huge object trying to strike someone. Simon Gobadia holding her down, physically holding her down. Damn it, I wish I could show my picture. We will be showing those pictures at some point once I figure out what the hell is going on here. <laughs> and look, I, look, I'm not one to be like, oh my God, we cannot have fighting on my show. I'm not one of those people. I'm not a fighter like that. I mean, I've never been tested. Don't test me. But what I'm saying is I, like, I'm not one of those people that needs th that type of drama on my show to be entertained. But when you just get Andy Cohen saying in this book, this is not love and hip hop. Or Bad Girls Club, which in itself was like, but you've had multiple fights on your on your franchise, and not just on your black part of your franchise. Yeah, <laughs> look, yeah, uh, mods. Can you just let me know how where we are with the likes? We have almost six hundred people watching, guys. I am back in the Kempire Studio. We are talking everything Real Housewives of Atlanta. Bravo, probably for the, one of the very first times, and I think they did this because we've been talking so much about how the casting has been in shambles. They confirmed their housewives for season 14 of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, we have six housewives. I thought we were aiming for seven, though. I thought that was the goal, seven. You may, may recall Portia decided not to return, and I think part of that was because she knows Kenya. You know Kenya was not going to let season 14 happen and not bring up the Simon Go Body mess. Sidebar, how come we didn't see Drew? Did we see Drew in the trailer of um Portia Family's va uh, Family Values? Family Family Matters? I know she filmed. Hmm. We shall see. We shall see. A lot of you are on the fence about Drew coming back. Let, let's give her a chance. Let's give her a chance. Drew, just be yourself. Drew's wig game has been on point, though. Y'all seen her on Instagram. Her wig game has been on point. She probably left that the top Hollywood um, hairstylist and went to somebody local. I, look, I'm open to to what Drew and and what's his name again? Ralph <laughs> are going to bring this season. Did he leave again for three days? Or are they going to try and give us that perfect relationship again? Just be yourselves. That's advice for everyone. Anyone doing anything. Just be yourself. Authenticity is just what people gravitate to. Make it make sense. Thank you so much for the super chat. Make it make sense says this. We didn't see any activism in the trailer. <laughs> Remember when we first reported on this story, they said they were going to follow her activism. We didn't see any of that. But what we saw was this activist being very violent. I'm just saying, can we talk? That's not necessarily a good look for the uh, Black Lives Matter movement. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I'm going to watch, though, because you look, 
I want to see where we are with the show. It might be a good show. As I said before, if they can give Kim Zolciak a show for eight seasons, they can give Portia one. And based on, I believe it was Tamara Tattles that reported that part of the reason why Portia decided to walk away from the Rouse Wise Atlanta was because of the reaction to what the producers were seeing from her own show and that she feels as if she will be okay with her own show. Do you guys think that she will actually walk down the aisle with Simon Gobadia? I still, even watching the clips from this trailer, I don't get a love relationship from this, this couple. It seems awkward and weird. But you like it, I love it. All right, we have over 200 likes, guys. We already have over 600-something people watching. It's easy and free to like a video. You've been here already for 20, almost 30 minutes. Like the video. Obviously, you like something or you like hating. So, like the video. <laughs> All right, let me drop the call in link. I want to hear what you guys have to say about this because we will be going live again at 12.30 p.m. to recap the latest episode of The Real Housewives of Potomac. I literally watched it before I left the Netherlands. I watched it again this morning. I'm probably going to watch it again um, before <laughs> before this next I'll also have to fix some stuff technology-wise. Um, oh, damn. D. Wood says it's giving sugar daddy. <laughs> <laughs> hey it's uh, i love when you guys say i'm finally watching a live welcome 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 um candy says i'm sorry all the activism in the haseo williams legacy is just ruined by porsche just saying look we understand people fight we understand that but this is not the first second or third time we've seen porsche get physical on a reality show and again, this comes right after the heels of us talking about the Candace and Monique situation in the, that book and where Andy was saying, referring to that by, you know, this is not love and hip hop. This is not the bad girls club. Here you are producing another show with that. Okay. Okay. Let's drop the call in link. I want to hear what you guys have to say. We're going to make this quick and easy. All right. And there we go. Guys, also, if you didn't know, because I didn't get a chance to go live yesterday, but if you follow me on social media, then you know a new episode of my podcast, Kempire Radio, available on all podcast platforms, has dropped. Be sure to check that out. Subscribe. Don't forget to rate and review because it matters because you know everybody named Mama started a podcast during the pandemic. However, Kempire Radio, Kempire Radio has been around for a very, very long time. Okay, let me see what you guys are saying here. Hold on. Um... Nelly says, if Monique is trash, keep the same energy, bravo. There was someone that, I forgot who said it exactly, and they said that Monique was fired after the fight. No, Monique wasn't fired. Monique actually made the decision to, to leave. Annie Cohen has said that he wanted Monique back, and she, Monique even said that they asked her to come and do All-Stars at one point. So uh, she wasn't fired because of the fight. She was not fired. Tuan, thank you so much for the super chat. Tuan says, Portia is the ratchet version of Candy. Oh. She's giving people an opportunity to just like, just like Candy did. Oh, by giving her family this platform. Okay. I mean, we, we shall see. We also have to remember Candy has done it a lot smarter. Just saying. Thank you so much, Kim, for the super sticker. Appreciate you supporting the channel. Guys, thank you so much for everyone that sends the super stickers or sends PayPal or Cash App. Sometimes I don't see them until after the live. So I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you. I also want to say thank you to everyone that's donated so far to our Breast Cancer Awareness Fundraiser. If you missed that, be sure to check out the previous videos that we posted. There are links available there and you'll be able to donate. We are raising money for the Black Women's Health Imperative this month. We only have only a few more dates till the end of the month is over. We are still trying to reach our goal of $2,500. So please donate what you can can all right let's take a couple of callers and then i'm going to call it a wrap because i have to go live again at 12 30 and i gotta fix some stuff behind the scenes all right uh miss bad and bougie's backstage i'm gonna take your take your call what's going on miss bad and bougie hey there how are you this morning uh, well how are you i'm i'm blessed and highly favored i know that's right welcome back thank you what are your thoughts on all of this um, the Portia Williams special or spinoff, um, I'm here for it. I think it's going to be good after watch. I just watched the trailer right now. Um, I thought it was going to be a bunch of just 
you know, like her crying with her mama and all that. But it looked like her family's really calling her to the table about this relationship. And that's what I wanted to, to really hear. You know, I want to hear how her family reacts. I want to hear how um, what went down with Dennis, which it looks like they're going to talk about that. That's going to be so interesting. And um, Dennis it's rekindling. It, it seems as if he's not like they're not, like no one's over that relationship. I thought that relationship was done. I did too. That's why this was so interesting. So I am here for it. I always have loved Portia. I love her mom. And I'm I'm like, I, I agree with the, the commenter that, I mean, there's nothing wrong with helping your family with a platform because I understand her mom and them are trying to start a podcast or something like that. So this can help them. And I always thought that her sister kind of got the short end of the deal. You know, she's still riding in coach. She never really had anything to spin off of her own. So I feel like this is going to, you know, help her get her, oh. you know, a little paper in her little wallet or whatever. So I, I'm, I'm here for the Porsche uh, spinoff. I just hope it doesn't disappoint me. And again, like you said, if Kim can get, you know, a, a spinoff just to have a baby every year, why can't Porsche? So, <laughs> I mean, really, it, it's going to, I think it's going to be good. What did you think of the fight, though, that we saw in the trailer? You know, I was disappointed in that. I'm another person that, you know, I don't believe us as, I don't like the image of us as Black women. We always got to be scratching and scraping and, you know, coming for each other and being held back. And that was my problem with Candace and throwing us a knife and drag me then. And, the, you know, I, I just, I like to evolve from that, but I ain't going to not watch it because of it. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're honest, Miss Bad and Boozy. <laughs> But the other thing I wanted to talk about is the announcement of the cast for yeah. Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Drew, I'm so not here for Drew. If she doesn't bring it this season, she needs to go. Because, I mean, it was cute, I guess, to talk about the, what did she call him? The second dad or whatever she was doing with her oh, son. Old daddy, old daddy. Oh. Old daddy, yeah. I wasn't here for that. And I want to see where that went. You know what I'm saying? So I hope they talk about that. Um, and then, you know, I don't know what it is about the women of Atlanta, but they're okay with getting cheated on. So um, they are. All of them get cheated on and they are all okay with it. Even on the other shows, like, you know, um, Married to Medicine, all the men cheat and they all keep them. Doc Dr. Uh, um, not yeah. Dr. Huh? Dr. Walters, whatever her name is. Oh, Dr. Dr. Jackie. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then on all of the, you know, we all know that Todd cheats. That's been in the media. We know is, is he cheating or is 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 that just an open relationship? Either one, but I know he's, you know, he, he, he Candy's okay with it. Put it that way. She talked about signing, you know, NDAs or whatever in order to, you know, let him go screw other women. So I feel like, you know, Drew. You know, she's no different than anybody else. So I hope she brings it this year. You know, I'm really not here for Sheree and her little prison boo. Like, I, you know, again, that's just, I mean, you're Sheree. You should have been able to find somebody that wasn't, you know, in prison. But, I mean, it, it's kind of interesting, too. And then with uh, Marlo, I was not for her getting a peach because she's never been a wife. Those nephews she's using as a storyline. From what I understand, they don't even live with her. Um, so I, I didn't understand that. I mean, yes, she can come in and, and cause drama, but do we really, you know, I mean, we was already getting that as a side wife. Well, not a side, what do we call him? Friend. <laughs> no, she's a woman. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we was already getting that. So I, I don't know what new she's going to bring. I am excited about the, um, the Olympic, you know, athlete. Sonia Richards Ross. Yeah. Senior. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I because, you know, of course, I, you know, am all for, you know, I've, I've lived a life with athletes. So I, I know, you know what I'm saying? So I think that could be exciting or whatever. Mm. But um, I don't know. I'm up in the air about it. I hope they bring it on the first few episodes or I, I will lose interest, you know, so mm. I hope it's I hope it's good. They haven't did the trailer yet, have they? No, they're so early in production. That's why I'm okay. sort of like, oh, wow, they were really desperate for them to announce their, their housewives so early. They just started filming. Mm -hmm. And then I just feel like, um, you know, Candy, I think she's always exciting because she has so many businesses going on. She has her mom in there and, you know, her aunts and stuff like that. So I feel like she's going to be exciting. Kenya, 
she always brings the drama, even though I don't personally like Kenya, but I like her on the show, you know? Mm -hmm. So those two we know are going to be solid. I'm hoping the new girl be solid. Sheree, I, I don't know. I feel like it is no housewives in Atlanta. Like, I felt like they needed a couple more, you know what I'm saying? Or some good friends of. Yeah. I'm glad they didn't bring Lil Fallon back because I'm tired of her, you know? And um, I think it should be good. <laughs> Lil Fallon. Okay. Ms. B Ms. Badabushi, thank you so much for calling in. I appreciate Sorry, it. Sorry, I couldn't put on my face on the camera. I'm so, or, you early. It's only 8.30 in California. No, I ain't even flat ironed my hair, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Thanks for calling in, though. All right. Have a good day. You too. Bye. All right. We, we have quite a few people backstage. Guys, if you're just joining us, we're talking about the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 14 cast being announced and Portia Williams trailer for her, her Portia's family. Matt, that doesn't roll off my tongue. The pursuit of Portia rolled off my tongue, but maybe for lic licensing, they couldn't do it. Anyways, Ratchet with nothing. Hold on. I, this is Shantae. Shantae, what's going on? <laughs> hey. <laughs> I can read it. Ratchet with nothing better to do. Uh-uh. Uh -huh. What are your, what are your thoughts on, on this cast and Porsche's trailer? So, well, let me get the Porsche part out the way. Um, I mean, I'm looking at the trailer and I, I didn't, a couple of those people look familiar unless they just look like somebody that's been on reality TV and fights all the time. <laughs> a couple of those ladies on that show. I said, who is that? She looks like somebody. And then I looked at the face and said, oh, she looks like Miss Minnie, but that's not Miss Minnie, obviously. But, um, yeah, Portia just takes Ratchet wherever she goes. So I'm not surprised she's bringing it onto her own show. Mm. Um, as far as Housewives of Atlanta, I had always said that, why do I want to see Marla with the peach? I don't. But honestly, at this point, what could it hurt? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Because that's, what, that's what the producer said. <laughs> right. Because she's been on there all this time. And everybody's like, well, we should give Marlo a peach. We should give Marlo a peach. And she's been perfect as a friend of, but then everybody wants to say Marlo's not a wife. Ever since the very beginning of the Housewives franchise, there's always been at least one cast member who was not married. Always. Yeah. There was Joe on OC. There was Bethany on New York. There was Danielle on New Jersey. They've always had at least one person. So it's been a formula that fits. So keep saying that over and over like a broken record isn't going to help. They bring what they bring, whether their wives are not. Yeah, um, yeah I, I, I agree with the previous caller. I'm really not here for Sheree in Prison Bay either, if she's got to come back with Prison Bay. <laughs> like, I, we watched Love After Lockup. He's really not going to be here for it. He better not be on the phone. No, I don't think he's going to be on the phone. Because is it? he's out, isn't he? He's out, but isn't he, like, he has to stay in, in the state of Pennsylvania? I might be wrong, but they said he's going to be on the show. Yeah, I mean, you know, we watched Love After Lockup, but I didn't know we was going to see go. it for real. <laughs> Sheree just, but Sheree, yeah, Sheree, like I said, she doesn't need to be anything more than a friend of with them having her bringing her back. I just don't know why they keep trying it with her. This is her third go around. And it's like each time she's come back, she's, I don't want to say she's a lesser, but she's just not bringing what first season Sheree bought. Granted, she's lost a lot, but I also don't feel like she had to be so diminished, you know? Like, we we saw more with season one, two, three, Sheree, and now it's like, ugh. But maybe she's going to bring a lot. Remember, like I said, she's got Prison Bay, and you know a lot of those ratings for Love After Lockup are high. Bravo. No yeah, it's cool. a good <laughs> show. <laughs> but still, why do we have to have it on our house? Why? <laughs> I know. It's not It's not Bad Girls Club or uh, Love Love After Lockup or, you know, Love and Hip Hop. Yeah. But then again, with everybody saying, well, we're not, you know, I, I don't understand the whole point of people getting upset at how they're portrayed. They use what you give them. Mm. And that's with all of them. I'm not just talking about the Black part of the franchise. I'm talking about all of them because we've seen it all. We've seen people throw their leg on a table. We've seen people pull hair. We've seen people throw drinks. And it wasn't always the Black housewives. So as far as any of that goes, now we can make the argument who we see it with more often. And that's going to be a bit of a controversial subject too. But at the end of the day, regardless of who it is, they use what you give them to label. So. This is true. Any other thoughts, Shanti, before I let you go? That's it. I will see you later with the other recap. Yes, ma'am. I'll talk to you later. Bye.
Uh, I want to say, Zoe, thank you so much for the super chat. It says, Campfire Face, want to call a draw shade? Price. I don't even know sometimes what I'm doing with my face. You you guys mention it, and then I'm like, oh, wait. Sometimes you forget you're on camera. I guess that's how it works with um, reality TV. Anyway, let me get to the callers. Guys, if you just joined us, of course, we're talking about the new cast of The Real Housewives of Atlanta and Porsche's new Porsche's Family Matters trailer. If you're watching the replay of this, I want to know your thoughts in the comment section. If you are going to be watching the new season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, and will you be watching Portia, Portia's Family? This does not roll off the tongue. I'm just saying. Anyways, um, S. Willie, I'm going to bring you up for a quick comment. What's going on, S. Willie? Hey, Kempire. This is my first time calling you. So excited. Welcome. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, my thoughts. I guess I'll talk about Real Housewives first. Um, I have been watching since the very first episode, so I'm a super fan. Um, I'm really not excited about the cast at all. I'm just overall disappointed. Like, I, I, it's not exciting. Drew, I don't care about um, her and her husband. They don't care about her. I guess we got to care about them. But um, we got her. We got, you know, Kenya. Hopefully she'll find somebody to attack. So that'll make her storyline interesting. Marlo, I mean, maybe she'll bring something more. I like Marlo. I just feel like she doesn't have, she can't read like the other housewives. So I feel like that's why she should stay a friend because Marlo is, makes shady comments. But when she goes head to head, she does not read like the other ones. She goes below but the belt cool. or anything. Yeah, and to me, you're not good at reading if you have to take it there. I feel like mm. a read, you don't, you shouldn't have to do that. So I feel like she's not clever enough. Mm. But, um, and yeah, I am sad that Portia's not there, but you know, it is was it what it is. And Candy, you know, she's. I don't like Candy. I mean, well, I like Candy, but she's boring. And she needs to go. Like she brings nothing. She'll check everybody but her mama and her unprofessional crew. So, you know, I just be tired of her. Well, like I'm, hoping that they use this season. I'm, I'm hoping that they use this season, though, to transition Candy to her own show, which they've been filming with the OLG project. Yeah, I hope so. I will, And I will watch it. You know, I've been to, I'm from Atlanta. I've been to OLG restaurants and they're all terrible and the service is horrible. So I do think it's weird that she has all these family <laughs> restaurants and she got a spinoff, but... I don't know, like, maybe that's part of the storyline. I mean, maybe other people has had better experiences, but I would never, ever recommend anybody to go there. And I just wasn't satisfied. So it is what it is. That's <laughs> um, really, is that it? <laughs> oh, okay. Let me talk about Portia spinoff. Uh, I'll make it quick. Uh, I like Portia. It seems ratchet, so I'll watch it. I don't think it wouldn't have been interesting if they made it about the activism, so I'm not going to... I think it's good that they pivoted and made it more about the drama. And I think it's weird that Dennis is in the trailer more than Simon. And I do think they're, the interaction between Simon and Portia looked forced and weird in the trailer. So I guess yeah. that's it. <laughs> that's really, thank you so much for the first time calling in. I hope you call in again. Thanks. Oh, oh, she cut herself off. <laughs> um, Tuan the Don, thank you so much for the uh, super chat. He says, Candy will be going to heaven because she knows how to honor her mother. <laughs> Tuan, shut up. <laughs> no, but you, look, look, yeah. we're loyal Tauruses. Right, Judgy Justice backstage? We are loyal. Okay, uh, make that money. I'm going to bring you up for a quick comment. What's going on? Make money. Make wait, Hey, make Kempire. Money. Welcome back. Uh, <laughs> you know I'm about to start some trouble. I should have known. All right. Um, make it quick. So the season 14 roster, uh, not too sold on it as much. Um, but I'm willing to give Sonya a chance. Hopefully, like, you know, her ratchet up Jamaican side. Not all Jamaicans are ratchet. I'm just saying they have the possibility. We all do. Hopefully that comes out and she brings her family dynamics as well. Um, Marlo, mm, I'm kind of hit or miss, but I'm willing to give her a try since she's been auditioning for the last seven years to get on the show permanently. 
Um, Kenya, I'm actually interested in seeing Kenya this um, season, especially after she just, you know, left Dancing with the Stars. Well, she didn't left. She got booted off Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, so true. she, I honestly want to see, like, how she takes that transition and if we see a new Kenya since Portia is not around. Mm. And Candy, Candy can go. I, I would, I would, I would rather see Mama Joyce, Aunt Bertha, and Aunt Nora as her like replacements. They can just take whatever they pay Candy and pay all three of them. <laughs> and yeah, so we that should be. Oh, Sheree, I forgot her. She by Sheree. I forgot about her. Sorry, Sheree. Um, for well, allegedly her and Prison Bay are no longer together. I think. So well, I don't think the varieties. If they're not together right now, they're at least together for the show. Right. Uh, see, that's a bad idea. I think she should focus on finally launching She by Sheree, the athletic wear, not the fashion couture line. It's coming. I didn't we just see promo for it? I mean, yeah, but if when was She Sheree announced? That was in 2008. We are in 2021. Or 2009, fine, maybe when it around that time. Um, but yeah, hopefully Sheree makes the best out of her third season. And in regards to um, Portia, Family Matters, who I'm honestly, I'm great that she has her own spinoff because based on the trailer, she basically would have took the whole season 14 would have been about her. And we know the other girls couldn't handle that. But I'm glad to see that we are not crazy and her family is thinking the exact same things we were thinking. Um, I don't think they're going to make it to the altar, to be honest. She's not going to get three weddings. She's not even going to get to the, the courthouse to get the marriage license. I think it's going to be one season, and then she's going to see who he really is, and then boom, bam, it's going to be done. She's going to be back with Dennis, and they're going to be having baby number two, and they'll live happily ever after. Oh, if, if Portia wants to see who Simon really is, all he has to, all she has to do is go to Sunday Omni's channel and check out all her videos on him. And she she laid it all out for Portia. Portia's all and you know Portia's on her on her phone watching like she is, oh. but Portia Portia just sees green, and I'm just looking like you don't know some of these Nigerian men. Some of them are will scam the hell out of you, girl. So I think. He he might leave her a little um, bankrupt and broken, so that's why she might go back to the hot dog man. Oh my god! All right, I told you I was coming with the mess. I see that. Make that money, Portia. <laughs> All right, take care, Kempire. You too. Bye. <laughs> Twan, Twan, first of all, thank you so much for the super chat and for always supporting the channel. Twan is also a member of the channel and he is a moderator on the channel and has been here since who knows when at this point. Twan says, This is why black people can't grow. <laughs> oh my God. We have too much to say about black businesses, but not enough about white people's businesses. Support, period. Which business were we talking about? <laughs> you see how quickly I forget? <laughs> Tati, okay, I'm taking these last couple of calls, guys, because we are going to go live at 12.30, and I'm not going to have a chance to rewatch Potomac like I wanted to, but it's okay. I watched it already. Um, Tati, I'm going to bring you up. What's going on, Tati? Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. It's my first time. I love all your content. Yay! Um, so right before I started watching you, I stumbled on this video on YouTube that makes a lot of sense. They're criticizing Andy for... Um, the black girls always look ratchet and he protects a lot like OC and New Jersey for them not to look ratchet. Mm. And when I saw the trailer of Portia show, it just made sense. That's why they're speaking like he's going to get demoted and things like that. Don't get me wrong. I'm here for the ratchetness and I love it. But why can't we be fair and make everybody look ratchet if that's the case? Mm. Good point. Good so point. I really am a little scared about that relationship with Simon and Portia because really they did show Dennis a lot so and he did say something in the trailer about she still loves him mm. and he still loves her so you know something juicy gonna go on throughout the season and there's gonna be some beef between him and Simon absolutely and aren't they business partners supposedly on something that's that's what we heard we heard they were friends and, and that's why we were like this is messy very messy. Portia knows you shouldn't go with the homies friend, but whatever. They have no bro code. Um, <laughs> as for the Real Housewives of Atlanta, I'm excited for our girl uh, Marlo finally getting her peach. I mean, it took her a little bit, but she got it. Um, I'm excited. Why can't they explore Candy's open marriage or Todd's wayward self ways on the show to give her a little oomph. 
That might be the storyline. What, what, what is going to be our storyline this season? That might be it. <laughs> Maybe the struggles with OLG restaurants. I mean, the last girl's not the first time I heard that the restaurant is horrible and service is horrible. We've reported on it. Not the first time. <laughs> So oh, let's, know, wait, let's and, see. And not to cut you off, I just you. wanted to respond to, to Tuan and Don because I I didn't realize what Tuan was referring to. He was referring to the comments that the caller made in regards to Candy's restaurant. I will remind you guys, Candy's the same person last year that got on social media complaining about a woman saying, "Of course," versus "My pleasure at Chick Fil A." So when you have a restaurant and you're on a national platform and you're a public figure, you are put yourself out there to be criticized. So. Absolutely, absolutely. You got to hold yourself at the same standards that you hold the world to. Mm. That's how I feel about it. Yeah. Um, and I'm all here. I hope she by Sheree finally launches. I too would like to get her jogger wear, her athletic wear. Um, and I like that they're giving us a little love after lockup, real <laughs> housewife style. <laughs> I mean, we've been knowing about him since her last time there. She did a sexy photo shoot. I'm here. I want to know how she liked those pictures. I want to know how they met everything. How did it go? What did they do when he came out? I'm here for it all. The good, the bad, the dirty. Ooh. And I'm here for Kenya's drama with Brooklyn's daddy. So I'm here for all of it. Oh, okay, so you're it. excited, Tati. Very excited. I've been a Housewife fan since the first ones that came out at OC. And as they kept coming out with more and more, it's it's like a drug for me. That's my guilty pleasure. <laughs> it's my guilty pleasure. Oh, wow. Okay, Tati, thank you so much for calling in. You, you really gave me a new perspective on things and things that we should be probably excited for. Thank you. I'm happy I can serve that to you, sweetheart. And keep <laughs> making this amazing content that just makes my day. Thank you. Have a great day. You too, honey. Bye-bye now. Guys, we have almost 900 people watching. Be sure to like the video if you haven't liked it already. And just a reminder, we have posted a new episode of my podcast, Kempire Radio. I also dropped some New York, Real Housewives of New York tea that you didn't get anywhere else there. So be sure to check that out. I was talking to a housewife. Um, <laughs> Judging Justice, I'm going to bring you up for, for our last caller. Guys, again, don't forget, you can get your own coldest water bottle. Shout out to everyone that's sent in their coldest water bottle to me. Get your own coldest water bottle today. Link is available in the description of this video. Use the discount code KEMP10 for 10% off. Literally keeps your water cold. I missed my coldest water bottle on my travels, but I just, you know, forgot it. I forgot it. All right. Judging Justice, what is going on, girl? Hey, I'm so happy to see you back. Thank you. What's going on? I thought for a minute that you were, um, you know, found love and you were about to go live your best 90 day fiance life. And that was the end of Kempire. We were just not going to see you anymore. Who says that? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're messing with me. But, um, I actually am. A, I actually have mixed feelings about Porsche special. I thought. I thought it was actually going to be like a Christmas special, like, you know, a ho-ho-ho special. So I'm a little... Did you just say a ho-ho special? A ho-ho-ho special, you know? But I guess it really is because, like, she got her baby her baby daddy and her new man fighting over her. But also, I did not... I, I watched Layla Lynn's breakdown of the video because I only watched it once. Mm -hmm. And then I watched Layla Lynn's. And Portia actually is trying to hit somebody with something. With a huge piece of something. Yeah, like, like a, mic, a mic or something. And then when you see the crowds of people, they're all trying to ha like cover themselves away from her because she's trying to attack them. And then she's been blaming Kenya, the girl she dragged in the alley, all these other people for her, Cynthia for a violent outburst. Mm -hmm. But she's a violent person. I thought she had gotten over that. It's been a while since we've seen that side. I I I thought it, I knew it wasn't over, but I didn't think it was I didn't think it was this deep that it was just like something just she just does. Yeah. So and and just do it on your own show. Like you you, you know, I'm used to like how on the other shows, like when you bring other people in, they fight it out yeah. and you just sit back. But you actually fighting on your own show. And then I'm a little curious about this Dennis. You know what his confessional said? I was like, wait, what? I thought you said you didn't want nothing to do with the woman. But I guess since she didn't take you up for child support, you want to make sure she get a check somewhere. Oh. 
Did we even see any confessionals with Simon Gobadia? We didn't, right? No. Simon said like two sentences. And that One was thing enough. I when I heard his voice, I was like, oh. <laughs> Made me want to button up my clothes. Oh, she over there no. dressing scandally. I'm like, oh, sir, please. I can't. So all in all, I'm happy for her. I don't appreciate the title. I think there's something else they could have said. Because like Family Matters, there was a show of Family Matters. So that's going to be a little confusing. And then I know it was supposed to play on Black Lives Matter. But like that didn't even happen. So we ended up with this. I know it's going to get green lighted for another season, unfortunately. But I know I'm gonna be watching because ain't nothing to do. I'm in the house. <laughs> so you know you have things to do. You have a whole baby that you're working on. <laughs> hey, I I am. He's growing. He's being prosperous in my tummy, and we've already set up everything. So it's now just a waiting game. Oh, when do you do? Do you mind that? Oh, uh, so, January 23rd. It moved up. Oh my god. Are, wait, yeah. are you, wait, wait! Are you using Phaedra math on us right now? <laughs> what do you mean? It no, was... it would, it would, <laughs> it would. My t- <laughs> no, but that's no, no. It was like because I was due the thirtieth of when of January, and they just oh. moved it up a week. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I just and wasn't sure because he's so big. They're going to be moving him. He's probably going to come a little bit sooner. They're thinking okay. January now. I mean, we were talking about Atlanta. So when you said that, I was like, wait, what? No, no, don't scoop me in with her. <laughs> Have you even watched her new project, that four part series thing that she was doing on BE? I think it was on, it was on All Black. She was, oh, I haven't seen it. Yeah. I, I'm still waiting on the Phaedra Judge show. That that's what I want to see. I think she would be great at that. I think that would be fun. Yeah, like I think she would do a better judge than like Steve Harvey. I don't know why he got green lighted for a show like that. That's right? I, I know he gives I know he gives good advice because I watch him like when he does his scarlet letters. Yeah. But it's not it's not the same. I think he's not for that. Not an attorney. She's an attorney. He's not, he's not an attorney. He's not a good attorney, but she's an attorney. <laughs> not a good yes you gotta win a case win a case win a case um, thank, you Don, just, thank you for the super chat Twan saying the math isn't math <laughs> Twan stop messing with me man <laughs> I'm gonna get you on our group chat <laughs> Judge Justice anything else before I let you go no thank you so much for having me bye guys and, and, and go rest up because again the math ain't mathing thanks Judge Justice <laughs> <laughs> St. J, I'm going to bring you up for a quick, quick comment in a second. Guys, we have almost 900 people watching. If you haven't liked the video already. I mean, first of all, y'all have me cracking up. <laughs> that major part, it's the first thing that came to mind. Judgy Justice, we love you, but that's what came to mind. But we can't wait for the baby to come. We can't wait for the baby to come. Guys, don't forget, we will be going live at 1230 in a half hour to recap the latest episode of The Real Housewives of Potomac. A lot is coming out in regards to that as well. I will be taking your call, so make sure you set your reminders. The link has already been posted on the Kempire Daily YouTube channel. We're also live on the Kempire and Kempire Daily on Facebook, uh, on Twitch and Twitter. I didn't go live on my TikTok. I have to do that, but we will be doing our Real Housewives of Beverly Hills Reunion Part 3 live watch and commentary on my TikTok exclusively Wednesday at 10 p.m. Eastern. So make sure you're following me on TikTok. If you don't have a TikTok, get one. All right. Uh, St. Jai. St. Jai. St. J. <laughs> last but definitely not least, what's going on? Hi, Empire. Can you hear me? I feel like I haven't seen okay. you in forever. I know. Your Amsterdam schedule and my schedule were completely just, whoa. I know. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So if you guys read the book, they described Sheree multiple times as a lightning rod to Atlanta. And I think in a world where you can't have Nene back, Kim won't come back, there really leaves one person. Mm. But I think that reading the book also led me to this conclusion on Sheree. Sheree only has spurts of good moments in her. Damn. And then she starts falling flat. Yeah. So there's that. I was originally like, eh, Marlo getting a peach. I think that Marlo, 
at this point, why not? <laughs> That's what the like, producer said. <laughs> yeah, like at this point, I, reading the book though, Marlo talked about how season four, she was shooting with her mom. Her mom was hurling curse words. And <laughs> she was like, I guess it was too loving hip hop for them. So I'm like, your mom? I mean, from my understanding, it's the same person. So how's this going to work? They're ready for it, apparently. <laughs> I guess, hey, they need somebody to judge it up. And I think that, you know, Marlo has a story that we haven't delved into, but I just feel like her and Sheree have a limited life, stock life as Peaches mm. currently. Um, I'm confused. I think that they're making a mistake if Toya doesn't participate at all. Mm. I think that Toya, yeah, I think that Toya and Drew have I think that you can follow that dynamic like you followed Kenya and Portia mm. because that way you can start transitioning characters mm. well, I like I feel like in Atlanta now. yeah I feel like in Atlanta you can never transition characters when people stay for one season and they're gone that makes you have to keep cycling older or doing things the way they've been doing things Yeah. Mm. all in all I think that they need seven wives like um they didn't really mention friend ups no but they did confirm so, that he's not making an appearance and that latoya is not coming back yes so i hope that some point they find some extra women because <laughs> they need it <laughs> like we've seen what candy has to offer we know we don't want to see kenya and drew go head to head anymore Marlo and Sheree, I mean, I was really only interested in Sheree when I thought Simon was coming, so, and I, I was riding for Sheree, but it's a little late for that now. I but wonder if you mentioned um, Portia at all this season. I'm interested in that as well, like, will they mention her? Because Andy said she's, it's like a pause for Portia, and... So I mean, I guess that means he has every intention on keeping her on Bravo if it's in his power. Mm. Do you think, and I'm just thinking this now, and, and since, since you're here and you usually have really great commentary and perspective on these things, do you think that after the producers and Andy saw the fight on her spinoff, they were like, oh, uh, we can't bring her back to, to Real Housewives of Atlanta? So you I want to know... It wasn't her choice. Did we get... And the trailer, who is she fighting? Because I I have no idea. I'm like, is that your family member? I'm assuming. Because if she was gonna pop her family member over that situation, she definitely was gonna pop one of the girls on Atlanta again. <laughs> and they talked in the book ad nauseum about Portia growing as a person <laughs> and how she's not a violent person anymore. And I read that chapter in the trailer. To Portia show dropped, and I was like, "Oh, well, maybe we smoked too soon." Mm. It's, so, it, 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 and now I'm having this different perspective on was it Portia's decision not to return, or did the producers see what they saw and was like, "Okay, we'll give you this right now, but we can't bring you back to the franchise." Yeah, because I you can't convince me that she's getting the same check. Mm. Especially when I her original plan was to have two checks. <laughs> two good checks. So yeah. Like so I'm like, eh, I don't know, Portia. I'm not really sold on it. No. But I called in to say they do apparently the producers feel like Sheree is a lightning rod to the franchise and when she comes back, she has a level of value. Mm. I mean, I think that if she can't manage to launch She by Sheree, I think that she needs to leave the season. Like, she needs to come in now. I thought that she, did she announce that it was coming. Where she announced that if we got Wendy's candles in, in the season that she mentioned it, we're going to get Sheree's um, joggers this season. And the world of AliExpress and these places just ordering clothes from overseas and uh -uh, throwing the logo on them. This. this has been almost 15 <laughs> years in the making. <laughs> I just don't understand why she's struggling to do that. Like, I would have at least done that by now and grown the brand. Yeah. She will. She was when someone says spring, summer. I can't. Um, St. J, anything else? Spring, summer. 
No, I'm excited to hear the Potomac review because I watched it this week <laughs> for the first time in a while. You've been busy. You've been busy with school, I'm sure. And vacation, yes. Oh, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> but yes, so I look forward to calling in for Potomac. Thank you so much for having me, Kim Pyre. It's good to see you're back. Thank you so much. Thanks, St. Jay. Have a great rest of your day. See you later. Thank you. Bye. Guys, that's it. If you're just joining us or if you're watching the recap of this, we are talking, well, the replay of this, I should say. We are talking about the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Season 14 cast has been announced. A lot of people aren't, are they're sort of on the fence about this season. Tachi, though, is excited about what, what, what might come. I'm open to it. We will be talking about, we'll be covering the news. We've been covering the casting for months now. It seems as if all the tea that we've been hearing has been pretty accurate. Has been pretty accurate. And as you know, depending on what's going on behind the scenes when it comes to contracts, that's what changes things. It seems as if they have solidified contracts with all these ladies, according to Variety. And according to Bravo's website, they've posted this as the official um, cast. Six women, Kenya, Candy, Marlo, Sheree, Drew, and Sonia Richards-Ross, who is a four-time Olympic gold medalist, Jamaican, I'm I'm interested. I'm going to watch. And Portia's family matters. Did they give us a date? I don't think they gave us a date, right? They just gave us the trailer. We're going to continue to follow this. We're going to continue to recap it. I, I want to know your thoughts, guys, as always. Let me see what the... Um, hold on. Before we go, I just want to see what... I know I posted a... I posted the um, poll. Let's see what the poll see is. What, I know I... Posted. Boom. There we go. The poll question. After watching the trailer for Portia's Family Matters, will you be tuning in? And these are the results. Ooh, it's very close. Bravo. I know you're watching. This is very close. But coming in at 38% as the winning vote, you you guys said maybe if the first episode is good, you will watch. Coming close behind that at 34%, uh, you're saying, hell yes, give me that peach juice. <laughs> I'm so silly. But at 28%, no, it looks lame AF. So overwhelmingly, people are open to it like I am. All right. And that's at 727 votes. I'm ending the poll now. Shout out to my moderators. Shout out to everyone that sent in a super chat. Shout out to our Team Kempire and Royal Court members. If you'd like to become a member of the channel, head on over to teamkempire.com. And don't forget to join our texting community. The number's scrolling across your screen. Or head on over to textkempire.com. Also, a new episode of my podcast, Kempire Radio, is available right now. Talk a little bit about my trip. Talk about some hot topics that I haven't talked about anywhere else. And I talked a little bit about some Roni tea that I got. <laughs> also guys don't forget we will be live in about 20 minutes to recap the latest episode of the Royal Housewives of Potomac you will have an opportunity to call in and share your thoughts as well again thank you to everyone that was a part of our live chat um, next live chat will be subscribers only you would have to be a subscriber within the last day in order to be a part of the live chat but everyone will get a chance to call in and share your thoughts on last night's episode. Not, la not last night's. Sunday night's episode of the Real Housewives of Potomac. And I will be doing a Real Housewives of Salt Lake City Live. That probably won't be until later today. Because as I said before, lots of things going on. Again, thank you to my moderators for keeping this space and open. Even if you have a different opinion, I appreciate it. My moderators allowing people to have their opinions. But of course, keeping it civil and mature and that also continues in the comment section be sure to make sure in the comment section that you guys can share any of your thoughts even if you love the trailer and you're excited about what's going to happen on the Porsche show i want to hear your thoughts there but there's no need to be derogatory there's no need to be sexist there's no need to be racist none of that let's have a civil conversation because as always i ain't a moderating adult just saying thank you guys so much for being here i will see you guys in 20 minutes Bye. I need my little outro situation set up. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> Bye.